Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of XRP USD. Right now we're sitting at around 22 cents. We're up 12.38%. And guys, this is what we were talking about. This is what we needed to have happen was a large move on big volume. And now the next test that we need to see here, remember the candles are on the one day chart now. So this is very significant. What we need to see is us come up here and challenge this downtrend line. You can see the last time when we hit it, we had a bearish engulfing candle and we really dropped hard. But what's happening now is volume stepping back in and we have to wait for the close today but this is a really good sign on the one day chart we have the potential of closing up above our 20 EMA in purple our 40 EMA in orange and potentially our 50 moving average which would be a really big deal for us guys we need to get back up above those and then it would be challenging this overall downtrend line in red that we've been looking at for quite a while now and remember guys that's what I was talking to you about was this downtrend line and what I want to see is something similar to like what we're having today a 12% candle closing up above that trend line with significant volume that's what you're looking for so now what's good though is at least we're getting up to that point where we put potentially could test it in the next day or week to come here and we're going to have to see what happens if we start seeing a lot of rejection off this and we start dropping back down or if this is finally starting to make that move because down here guys we were talking about the trend and how they slow down we've been having lower highs and lower lows coming in and you have to think about these trends like I've talked about before like putting the brakes on for a car you don't stop immediately there but you can tell that the slowing down process is taking place and that's what was happening right here with this accumulation you can see it back here where it happened before where we had accumulation then we had one of these really nice pops but what we need today is follow through we don't want to just see us pop up here and then have another big dump like we did back there in September that would show a lot of weakness if we see a lot of rejection off here so we desperately need to get up above that and we still have plenty of room to run here guys I've talked to you before about the RSI and in terms of cryptocurrency I like to look at the RSI at anything over 80 is overbought anything under 20 is oversold traditionally it's that 70 and 30 mark but cryptocurrency can get so wild and extreme to both sides the upside as well as the downside and right now we're sitting at 62 on the one day chart here for our RSI so we still have plenty of more room to run last time we actually came up to around that 79 or 80 right up in here and before guys we've been up as high as let me see here let me move this up for us we had been up as high as around 85, 86 the last time we really had a big pump here with a lot of volume that was back in May. But that just shows you that these levels can get very overextended both to the upside as well as the downside. So we're going to have to see what we end up doing with this downtrend line. And that's on the one day chart. What I want to dig into next was the four hour. And we're basically going to go from the one day to the four hour to the one hour so we can get a little bit more detail. And guys, if you like me covering XRP, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think. Is this finally us breaking out of this trend? Are we going to get up above that red trend line or are we going to see some rejection off it? I want to know from you guys. Next one here is our four hour. And what you can see here is that big stick of volume that came in. And guys, that's traditionally how this market moves. It's a little bit different than the stock market. In the crypto space, we can really consolidate for quite a long time, just like you saw here. This was over a month here that we were in consolidation. And then in the matter of an hour, sometimes five minutes, you can have basically more of a move that you've than you've seen in the last month. I mean, that was tip one candle, guys, took us from 19 cents all the way up to around 21 and a half cents there. And that's a big deal. In terms of a percentage move and I want to pull out our percentage marker here so in one candle we went up almost nine percent when this past month we've been chopping back and forth and haven't even really made nine percent throughout that entire time so that's how crypto moves and that's why you have to be ready and you have to plan for these things you always want to plan guys so what's happening now is we're pushing up towards this red line what we're gonna look at for overhead resistance here this is a big area for us we're gonna put on our horizontal line we would need to get up above that 23 cents you can see where we had these peaks right here this whole chunk here is going to be overhead resistance and that's what we're going to be dealing with and we need to break through and that's also going to correlate with this downtrend line if you step back and take a look here and that's what's so important guys I'm sorry, my chart's taking a little bit longer to load there, but that's what's so important is for us to get over these two areas. If we can get over these two areas, we could really run hard and fast, and we could probably go up to around that 31 cents right up in here, and that could be really big percentage gains, guys. That's what you're looking for. You know, some people will say, oh, I want to see XRP at $10, this or that. Guys, you have to take it one day at a time and capture these percentage moves. 12%, that's a big deal in a day. 
have to remember that some markets like the Dow Jones hardly even move, you know, 20, 25 percent in an entire year. So it's a blessing that we can be in a space that moves so fast and aggressive to both the upside and the downside. Now, on the four hours, we're looking at 84. So we are getting a little overextended here on the four hours. I'm not saying that we couldn't push up higher because obviously, guys, if we pull this up here, you can see we've been up to 84 before. We've been up to 89 before. Back over here, we've been up to 90. But right now, we're basically just going straight up. And a lot of times after you have one of those straight up moves you'll have a little bit of consolidation it may happen around this downtrend line there and then the next one i wanted to look at was the one hour chart but it's nice we're up above all the moving averages there on the four hour and then in terms of the one hour chart let's dig in here our rsi went as high as 92 and what you're starting to see now is some tweezer tops getting put in. So I'm sure there's going to be a little bit more of a retracement here before we potentially try to make that next move if we do. But if we start falling down, I'd want to see us find support around that 20 cent region in terms of the one hour chart there. But this is good, guys. I'm glad to see this. You know, I'll bounce back out to the one day. Just overall, really watch this red downtrend line. This is what I've been talking to you all about for quite a while now. And let's just see if we can finally start to break out of it. And if the volume and the momentum will start shifting and we can start making higher highs and higher lows just like we did back here here's our low here's a high higher low higher high higher low came up here set a lower high but a higher low and then a higher high and then we gave it all up and we dumped but these are the things that you want to look at you want to always look for those higher highs or higher lows to start first on the one hour then the four hour then the one day then the one week that's how i like to do things but really watch these levels guys it's a good thing i'm excited to see this really need to start digging out of this downtrend it's been over six months now and we really need to break out of this bitcoin's going to be the key if bitcoin continues to move up and we can break out of that downtrend channel then most most likely the same thing is going to happen with XRP here. So guys, you get some from this, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate y'all being here with me today. God bless each and every one of you. Take care, my friends.